I follow Maggie, my 17-year-old, as she rushes into the world. I want to follow, but pull back, watching from the doorway, slowed by thick roots my legs have become inside comfy sweatpants. She is wearing my well-worn bohemian skirt, that the one that I wore on my honeymoon when I just crossed the threshold into marriage, when Maggie was one of many hopes, when my body still glowed with youthful energy. The flowered skirt flows out behind her. The morning is bright, inviting Mag and the morning is bright, inviting. Maggie is more beautiful than a trained dancer, more heart-stirring than a glamorous actress. But she doesn't know it. And like every girl, struggles to accept her body, this beautiful body in which she is dancing into the world. I watch, aware that more letting go lies ahead. This is the year before she goes to college. Yesterday, I held her hand to cross the street. Now, she is getting into her car to drive to school. And tomorrow, she will be discovering streets miles away, risking everything, finding and following the gold thread of her life, cheered on by true teachers and friends, while learning to recognize cultural misogyny that severs, cult, that severs connection to self. And I will be empty nesting, gathering energy to write with less interruption as a survivor of the many battles my daughter is just beginning to face. I wave goodbye as she drives into the September morning Days and weeks carry us along. She tests her wings, taking longer flights from home. I keep learning the rootedness my menopausal body offers and repeatedly remember that liminal morning when she danced away in my honeymoon skirt. I see us both crossing the threshold of huge rites of passage she as maiden entering the precarious journey toward what she will birth, while I, too young for crone, becoming the queen of my life. With every letting go, we feel urgency. Our connection grows more necessary, insists we learn new ways to stay in touch and help each other on. The day I left home for college, my mother went inside to write and listened to the song Woyaya on an Art Garfunkel album we loved. Its lyrics say, we are going, heaven knows where, we'll know we're there. It will be hard, the road muddy and rough, but we'll get there. Heaven knows how. We know we will. In my last year of high school and first year of college, I felt close to my mother, proud of her courage after divorce, grateful that she encouraged my independence. But increasingly, she failed to tend my need for her ongoing involvement in my life. She insisted she was done mothering, I grew to accept feeling hungry, undernourished. She never knew I spent my 20s falling into and recovering from an eating disorder. Woyaya was first sung in South Africa in the anti-apartheid fight toward reconciliation. Until her death, my needs were irreconcilable with my mother's, and my adult years were more difficult 
because of this. So now I need my adult relationship with Maggie to grow mutually open, vulnerable, and helpful. As an under-mothered mother, I am often afraid, and I've committed to two things. I must mother myself, and I must strive to be the mother Maggie needs. Despite these commitments, there are times our deepest needs have gone hungry. I am, I am unable, often, to satisfy my need to write. And though I tried, I failed to protect Maggie from struggles with body image and food. Maggie will leave home dealing with insecurities about her body, struggling to claim what nourishes her, learning to feed herself after having fallen prey to the false perfection of self-restriction that oppresses women in our culture. As Maggie danced outside in my honeymoon skirt, I felt and still feel the complex dangers of these rites of passage we face. I feel loss and fear, but I also feel a strength that comes not by avoiding, by surviving, the perils and wounds lived by every girl and woman who insists she move through life with her connection to creative soul intact. As long as we remember that soul is what is at stake, always, and that our connection to each other nourishes our connection to that generative source, we will be well fed. It will be hard. The road will be muddy and rough. But we'll get there. Heaven knows how we will get there. Dear Maggie, I know we will. <laughs>